I have a a segment in here, which is the Back to Basics mm-hmm. putting segment. So it's the mirror that is invented yep. by Grant Field and Richard Woodhouse. It's got the nice pro path mirror. It's got the arc on it, mm-hmm. about 15 degrees, which is halfway between 12 and 19 degrees, which is average on the PGA Tour. So it's the Back to Basics putting segment. Do you have a go-to putting exercise or drill or something that you've seen one of your players use that you like to kind of share with your students or you'd like to share with us today in regards to a certain mannerism? Yeah. I- what is it? The, the two things I focus on on putting are line and speed, right? And, I, and I'm still old school. Like, I still like a chalk line from five feet yep. for straight putts. Yep. You know, put a couple tees to measure just outside the width of the putter. Yep. And, you know, where they got to, you know, you got to go through those tees and be able to roll that ball down that chalk line. Yeah. And I think if you, you know, and, and, and I think that helps fix a lot of things, right? I love those mirrors and those things because it gets the eyes and the posture in the right place. But, like, I'm still like, let's go make some five-footers on a chalk line, learn to roll them down that line. And then, you know, and then just – I like super simple speed drills, really not to a hole. I like them to roll 30-footers from, like, 30 feet, 40 feet, whatever – towards the fringe and just trying to get them as close to the fringe as they can. Like you take the hole out of it, but where they're totally focused on speed, like those are kind of like, especially if I'm with a junior and stuff like, let's start there. Right. Um, But my one advice that I always tell, you know, I always tell a lot of my good young players is like every time I've been fortunate enough, like I go to the bears club or you go to these clubs, old palm where there's like a bunch of tour players or you walk on the putting green at the grant Thornton or whatever it is. You see, if you go to a couple, if you went like three weeks in a row to event or whatever, or three different months, you would see most of the time the same players doing the exact same yeah. thing. And I would tell whether it's that Matt you, that's your sponsor that's great or whatever it is. If you want to be good, find one or two things that you like that work for yeah. you, and keep doing them. Yeah, right. Rep. Just doing them makes you better, yeah. right? If the, the obviously you got to get with your teacher and say like, "Hey, w- let's find me two things I do, and I'm just going to keep doing them every time I practice, whatever that is, for a year. Yeah. Let's see how much better I get." Yeah. I think most people don't get better because they jump around from thing to thing. I agree, right? Yeah, and I, mm-hmm. I totally agree. It's nothing wrong with doing something. The, there's nothing better than the analogy of like when someone. You can get given a gym program from, say, Colby and go do it one day and go, where are my yeah. abs? It's like, well, hang on. <laughs> How about you go do this yeah. for a while and don't give up on it and they'll come. Correct. But when you talk there about that um, that string line and the, the two T's there outside the putter head, like you, there's, there's, that'll be great for the rest of time because you're working on sentiments yeah. of contact and you're working on um, is the face square at impact who's just going down the Correct. chalk line. Like, tell me there's not too many other things you need than that to be quite frank. Right. Touching. I mean, if you can roll it yeah. dead down a chalk line or down one of those little rulers for three, four yeah. feet and hit it center, I mean, you can figure out how to pump. Yeah. 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 Right. You know, I think that people, the better they, you know, I think the better they get at that, then they become better. And then the better they get at speed, the better they start to read grants. Yeah. I know Ralph Bauer's got a great app out there to read, and it does a lot with, you know, make people read putts better, read better, and then they putt better. But I mean, I think, but I think you got to have good fundamentals, be able to start it down your line yeah. first. Yeah. And, and yeah. you know, and what great feedback you're getting there too, Tony, from, so if you're using a ruler yeah. is you're getting great feedback if the ball's jumping off to the right or to the left, or if you're hitting the right, you know, the yeah, left absolutely. Tee, you're getting an right. immediate feedback. And how many people will say to you, my practice swing is good. And you go, well, hang on. You're only saying that because you can't measure if it's shit. Because there's no ball in the way, there's no right. result, and when you're what you're creating there is an environment of chalk line, two tees outside the putting yeah. head. You've got immediate Correct. feedback, and you can find that if your putting stroke is shit or good. I like that. Exactly. No, no. I think the and I think like same thing with instra. I think the more simple you keep it, but repetition. And, and again, like it could be chalk line and tees for me. It could be the string for somebody. Yeah. It could be. The you know the little the mirror with the lines that you roll it from through it could be any of those right but find one that you like right yeah and do I love it well that brings us into the back to basics putting segment TM fifteen discount code below support the people that support us 